Hey you guys, it's Rachel here. So I wanted to come to you today and talk to you about how to get good at anything. And I wanted to basically first say that to get good at anything, you first have to be really good at making decisions. And in order to do that, in order to be a good decision maker or just to be able to make decision, you have to have a strong willpower or to be a self motivator. And to get good at anything, say, it may be designing websites um, or making food, cooking, or anything that you might be interested in getting good, getting good at. First, you have to be a self-motivator. So when you want to get good at something, which I've learned, been learning, is that I have to self-motivate myself. I have to self-start. You have to be a self-starter. And luckily, we live in the time of Google where you can look up anything that you want to get good at. So if it's cooking or web designing or playing the piano, there's countless YouTube videos, countless articles out there, countless just free information. We're just in the time where free information is out there, where even if you don't even have a penny, you can learn how to do whatever you want to do. Whether it's tying your shoe or learning how to braid your hair, whatever the case may be, you can learn how to do it. But you first have to make a decision that that's what you wanna do. And I would say after you make that first decision that, hey, I'm, I'm gonna take the time, maybe three months, and learn how to make my own website uh, or learn how to get on social media. Once you make that commitment to yourself, then you're gonna be a self-starter. You're going to use Google and other um, websites, top websites like that, Google and YouTube, and Yahoo and whatever search in search engines that you are familiar with and research what you want to do. After that, I would say what takes you actually getting good at is patience with yourself and consistency. You have to have patience and consistency. And like for me as a singer, I remember <laughs> one of the things I w that's been my biggest lesson learner in life is consistency and that's one of the things that I'm learning to do even here with these videos I'm promising myself I'm promising you guys that I'm going to upload um, a certain amount of videos each week and that's just consistency I'm gonna get better and you know just continually building and working towards your goal of getting good at something so once you have patience and the patience portion comes in to where you allow yourself to make mistakes i don't technically believe in mistakes i feel like failure is such a big hyped up thing in our world of competition and but you know for those of you that do believe in the idea of failure yeah failure is totally if you're gonna fail fail all the time because that's the only way that you learn and you know like when you first started learning to read or um write you didn't know how to read you didn't even know what your letters were so you had to take baby steps and that's the thing with getting good at something you have to have patience with yourself to allow yourself to make mistakes and to fail and to fail more often that way you can learn more often that just comes with the territory of learning and getting good at something so if you want to get good at something first decide that you're going to get good at it and you're going to focus and take whatever amount of time say it's 30 minutes a day to work on your website or 30 minutes a day to learn how to cook or 30 minutes a day to play the piano or 30 minutes a day to learn how to draw or 30 minutes a day to work on your business whatever it is you have to first make that decision and commit to it and after that I would say um, even schedule it down if you have Google Calendar Google is a free advice um, free app you can use I would advise everyone to get with Google Google is totally rocking so you know they have Google email app even if you just want to use the app or whatever you can schedule in time and so that you know that you know every day at 9 a.m. I'm gonna get up and write or whatever it is that you're trying to get good at and then you consistently build upon it read articles how do I how do I write better articles if you want to become a writer or how do I make better YouTube videos? Google it. There's so many things that you can find out online. And then have patience with yourself. Allow yourself to grow. There is no race. You know, you shouldn't be racing or trying to get there. When you have that negative energy behind it, you're going to probably fail. 
um, and which is cool, but you're when I, when I say fail, I mean you're gonna probably give up. And I feel like that's the biggest failure there is because if you give up on your goal or your dream before you've obtained it or have some kind of level of mastery to where you're satisfied with it then then you know that's a waste and too bad because you know that could have been something a skill that you could have acquired and the thing with time is that it's gonna go anyway so you might as well take your time be patient with yourself and allow yourself to fail fast and fail all the time and continually get good at yourself. There's also a great website um, that I've been on recently. Um, it's called Give It 100, where you commit to 100 days um, of doing something or learning something, and it could be anything that you want to do. There's also countless other apps that you can do to like schedule your day, uh, free apps, um, whether you have an Android or an iPhone, and you can. Um, track your days or track your habits that you're trying to um, acquire or it might be the thing that you're trying to get good at so be patient with yourself and allow yourself to fail and continually grow towards your goal of getting good at something and another thing I would say is as you're tracking allow yourself to have rewards that way you don't you're not so hard on yourself I know that sometimes certain people can be, they just beat themselves up um, for not getting something quick. So I feel like when you have that, say that there's this bed of patience, when you have that bed of patience and you allow yourself to really enjoy the activity of whatever that you are trying to do to get good at something, you're going to learn that much faster because it's fun to you and you enjoy it, you know? When you have this tension of, oh, I gotta get good at it, or, or you know, I'm not gonna beat so-and-so, or I'm not gonna get good and, you know, I'm gonna suck. When you have that kind of mentality, you're going to stunt your growth, and it's gonna be way slower than if you just had an open mind. There's no such thing as hard. Things aren't hard, they're only unfamiliar. So when you're learning a new skill or you're trying to get good at something, don't approach it, approach it as hard. Approach it as unfamiliar and something that I'm looking forward to learning. And then you'll just have an open mind into learning it that much quicker. So yeah, those are my tips for today of how to get good at anything. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel at Indigo Ray. And I will catch you guys next week.